Is EWOT an oxygen delivery therapy? Absolutely. EWOT stands for exercise with oxygen therapy. You're creating a nice varied supply and demand type of equation. And using that, you can most certainly deliver oxygen to the tissues at higher levels because of manipulation of the supply and demand systems. But you are not really creating a surplus of oxygen that creates this ability for all of that excess oxygen to go other places. As one example, let's say, to our nervous system and our brain. So for, let's say, a TBI or concussion recovery or using it for even neurodegenerative diseases, as an example, we're going to have a hard time making the argument that we're creating excess oxygen that's going to go to those other tissues. We are creating excess oxygen. However, most, if not almost all of that oxygen is going to go to the working tissues and be metabolized real time during those exposures. Let's contrast that with hyperbaric. With hyperbaric therapy, it's a passive therapy versus EWOT as an active therapy. You're exercising with EWOT. You're literally laying down and you're passively relaxing during hyperbaric. Why? Because when you're exposed to hyperbaric conditions and you're being passive during that process, it just gives your body an opportunity to create a large surplus of oxygen. And you're not necessarily actively metabolizing all of that oxygen in that moment. You can create that surplus over a period of time. EWOT is relying 100% on red blood cell delivery. With hyperbaric, you can certainly saturate red blood cells. It will do that very easily, but it's also delivering an enormous amount of oxygen, increased oxygen into the plasma of the body, super saturating that body with far more oxygen than something like EWOT could ever do. And so if the concern is getting oxygen into the body for healing, recovery, and regeneration, hyperbaric oxygen therapy is going to deliver far more oxygen and give the body a chance to utilize that oxygen because the body is resting passively versus exercising actively.